I'm just not getting my fill of top water this year. Wake bait, one day. <laughs> one day. This one's gonna have some shape to it. It's a humpback, wake bait, almost jerk bait style. Circle lip, very steep, sharp angle to that lip. It'll be easy to keep it at the top, disturb the surface of the water, leave a wake in its path. Something for the fish to follow and smash. Nine, 46, one day. Sliced out my chunk of Tupelo. All right, that's exactly what it needed to be. We are staying a little thick today. Buoyancy is required for wake baits. Let's cut the lip. It's kind of tempting. I'm making a batch of jerk baits. I got a bunch of pre-cut lips right here. I could just use one of those, but no, that's cheating. That is hardcore cheating right there. Let's remain honorable and cut a lip out. I sized up. It was gonna be the inside circle, but I wanted it a little bit bigger, I felt. Touchy-feely lure making. I need to do something about this table. I need to do away with these grooves. Cause when you sand Lexan polycarbonate, it makes these little edges and lips and burrs and they catch on this sharp grooving and like you leverage your piece into the belt harder and it's bad. They need to be gone. Need to find a different aftermarket smooth table for this. Got the little lip cut out, polished up and everything actually. That's how much space I need to leave for the gills while carving. And those are some 10 millimeter eye sockets. Just plugged in the lead pot. Chamfer lines are drawn. Time to carve. This is going quick because it's a one day. And I'm very excited to fish with a wake bait today. There's all sorts of spots I could go to to make this work, make it official. I might fish for a couple days, even if it is successful the first day. Kept it pretty thick at the top. A lot of material up there still. Here's the rough carving. Humpback wake bait. I'm going to sand all that smooth. Looking good. Start a little slot right there for the lip. We're going to keep this a steep angle. A little ball burr. That looks correct. It's gonna wake, hopefully. <laughs> I 
half inch lead hole and I think the lead's hot. You can feel the heat from here. It's kind of clogged, but it's hot and it's dripping. Okay. We have a lead. Look at that. It's a half inch dowel. Fits wonderfully inside of that half inch hole, go figure. I'm looking for my baking soda, there it is. I drilled out a little bit of lead. I felt like it was too much just by holding the bait and feeling. More touchy feely bait making stuff. So in that space that we drilled out, I'm gonna add uh, baking soda, kind of get it everywhere in there. And then the super glue should be able to seep down in there, saturate the baking soda, and connect the dowel just nice like to the rest of the bait. I think that worked. I saw it really soak in, like hard. A bait on a stick. All around the corner where that dowel meets the bait, there's a nice bead of super glue, and I just sprayed it with accelerator, so. Looking good. Was cutting that at such a weird angle, unnecessarily. So hopefully now we can sand that down and it's just gonna be all wood looking. Maybe that holds better than just like a crusted layer of super glue and baking soda. There is super glue and baking soda in this, fellas, don't worry. The everlasting bait making contract still exists. We must use super glue and baking soda. Do the rest by hand. That worked great. There's an awesome little poplar wood plug in there now. Super smooth. Probably more smooth than I could get anything else really because it's wood to wood. I don't feel anything running my finger over that. That's the first time I've ever done that. A wood plug lead hole covering and I really enjoyed it. Time to carefully seal the wood with super glue. That was perfect. It didn't bubble over anywhere. You got a nice smooth coat everywhere. Just epoxied in with five minute epoxy. The lip didn't use super glue because super glue lick weakens polycarbonate. We don't need no weak polycarbonate on this bait. Once that's fully cured, we're gonna shoot a pilot hole and screw eye through the nose of the bait and through that tab of the Lexan polycarbonate that goes into the bait, securing it very strongly. Then it's ready to paint. Everything is really, really in there, including that lip. Everything's super straight and nice, sanded to 400. Gorgeous little wooden poplar plug on the bottom. I feel good about this bait. It'll probably function just the same as every other, but I feel even better about it because of that little plug on the bottom. Time to paint. Getting started with white. Diseased umber. I have been using like nothing but these bloodline pigments or paints, pigments. That just looked dirty. Good stuff though. We were going for dirty. Vile green. Light natural. It's just a super, super light tan. That prepared all of it for some detail smoke black. Kind of an indication of a lateral line in there. Just subtle little hint. There's gonna be golds and browns now added over that. Is it looking like a walleye? Going for walleye kind of thing. I'm gonna start with a layer of pearl white. Keep it really light from the bottom, fading to the top.
All right, that was just a little bit of gold right there. And now a lot of gold along the top. Not very much kind of along the flank and then there's some in the middle. Hopefully they fade into each other nice. If I just sprayed gold all over that, you probably wouldn't be able to pick up any of the detail that we have under those scales. Scale reveal. You can, you can see what was being gone for there. This side's a little dirty. Walleye are dirty. I bet the other side looks better because I, I uh, yeah, I painted the pattern under there better. You can see. See, there's the pattern. Then it gets all flashy and scaly. And there's the pattern again with the lateral line even. That's looking walleye-like. The scales turned out pretty defined too. They look good. Move on to gills. That's a printout of the template and I covered both sides in packing tape. Now we have a good walleye gill shape to go off of. I just want the outside line. I can do the rest with my other stencils. Or the outside gill shapage. Now some detail smoke black going into the micron. Time to get detailed. That looks pretty good. Decided to go for a little thin down there. Wow, that's gonna look fantastic for one day once I get all the colors on those gills. Hope it works good. That white is just so tempting to pile on, but you can't, or you're gonna ruin it. That is a fantastic amount of white, though, to make those gills pop, but not explode, you know? Just pop. Gorgeous. All right, time to fill these up with color. That is it, pearl white and gold. No more, no further. You can see that tan coming through the bottom a little bit, gives it some reds. And then there's like some blues down here from the vile green and the gold mixing. Comes up into the browns and the dark stuff with the gold over that. Makes it show up really good. Wow. Fantastic paint scheme, all that's left is to put eyes on it. I think I'm gonna prioritize reflectivity of the eyes. So I'm putting foil down first, 10 millimeter punch outs. And all that's gonna be on the back of the glass is pearl white, a pearl white pupil. And that's it. Dude, that is like a beacon. Wow. That is so bright, sweet. All right, let's get this shiny hard UV resin squirted into a cup and get the clear coat on. It is past one o'clock. A little drippy still. We're gonna let that even out. There is a lot of pearl on that bait. And that extra little bit of foil in the eye is just the brightest thing on the bait. It's looking even. I don't see any bubbles. The fly almost landed on it. That was close. I think we did good. Woo. You can't see anything at this light angle. <laughs> It's got a pretty thick coat on it too, and it just, it cured evenly. Look at that humpback gravel lizard right there. Can't wait to see how it works. The hooks are on. It's rigged up. That's the final product right there. It feels good. 
It feels exactly what this pole wants. I don't know where to go first with this. I could go to a creek, I could go to a pond, go to a lake. Let's just go to a pond first, get the one day successful. I guess that's where I think I'll have the most success. Let's go to a Bajornson pond real quick and get this official. One day! <laughs> Am I even recording? Oh yeah, okay, good. One day, go into a Bajornson Pond Management Pond to see how the wake bait works. I got a good feeling about this. Deller. Okay. I just took like three pictures and I feel satisfied. It's a good looking bait. Yeah. It wakes. It's got a tight wobble, a very tight top water wake. Wow, that's unique. I kind of like that. I like that more than just this ridiculous slapping thing, you know? Yeah, it's just got like a little tail kick, a little flutter. Yeah, otherwise it's very jerky. You can jerk it around and get it to do a lot of stuff. And it's down there like six inches. I kind of like fishing it that way. We might need to go to some deeper parts of this pond. Whoa, big snapper. Fish on. I cast it at wood. Like Debo would say, and I caught fish. Just gotta cast that wood. It's official! Pond bass like very subtly actioned wake baits. The action on this is very subtle. That's what I've determined. Nonetheless, it's official. Be free. You know, that could be preferable right now. Just an itsy bitsy kick off the back. 249. One day complete. It's like a hybrid between a uh, walking bait top water and a wake bait top water. It's like a wake jerk. It really rolls around when you twitch it. Lots of contrast when you twitch it. That's awesome. Some officialness brought to you by Bajornson Pond Management. Let's find out if we can add to it somewhere else. Haven't been to the ditch in a while. No kayak today. It's a little windy, but we got the wake bait. It's official. What is that? Is that a bluegill? Some sort of little sunfish? Like humpback wake baits. It's official, that little dude. We didn't get skunked at the ditch today. That's good. Those are some sharp trebles, man. Oh my goodness, there's a pike. All right, big old chip out of the top. Fish on. Feels like a pike. Could be a long nose gar. It's a smallie. It's a good smallie. Woo! Dude. Success. It's official. Decent smallie. Like humpback walleye wake baits that work better as a twitch bait. It's official. Be free. I thought it was a pike, I thought it was a gar, and then it was a great smallie. A great smallie. Those are some sharp, sharp hooks. Fish 
fish on. Went way back here to see if they're biting, and they are a little bit. What do we got? Large mouth, that's nice. We caught a smally and a largey from the ditch. They like the old humpback wally wake bait as well. Be free, humpback wally wake bait. Another one, same spot. Woo! -hoo. This one's feisty. I think I have him hooked in the top of the head. It's fighting weird. Yeah. Got a lot of meat on that hookup. <laughs> Another smallie. This one's pretty beat up. River life, you know. Be free. Whoa! Hit the water, and a bass bit it. That was nice. Behind me this whole time. This is the bigger one of the day. Nice. Beefy largey, it's official. It's been a pretty good day. They like the humpback wake bait wally as well, the beefy ones. Lovely. Bobbed his way down there, didn't even kick. Bloop. Okay, doing pretty good back here. It's like I just turned around and threw that big dude a snack. Snatched it immediately. Fish on. A little bit of walking. The bass are biting today. Popped right off. It's official again. Thanks for biting, be free. Whoa. Feisty, feisty feist. A little walk back and forward enticed him. I paused it and then, oh, another one. That was on the pause. It's the pause. Is this a smallie? No, largey. Dude, I lost a hook point on my treble. They're beating this thing up that bad. This guy kind of got gilled. He might make it, be free. It's the pause. Dang it. It was the bottom one on the front treble too. Uh-oh. Oh! Darn. <laughs> I think that that's happened to me a couple times now. And I'm pretty sure this, this hook point missing on the front treble hook is having its effect. I even let that fish take it down. It's crazy how much they hit the front. Sometimes rear treble hooks are just useless. Fish on. Ooh, is this a musky? No, it's a pike. Whew. I saw a bunch of darkness to this fish at the beginning. It's a pike. Dude. Whoa there, bro. That's I'm about to get a hook in the hand because this dude doesn't chill. Cut my bait off so he doesn't come back up. It's official. Pike. Decent pike. Like humpback wake bait walleyes. It's been a good day. Be free. Go ahead and be free, buddy. I'm gonna give him a poke. There you go, be free. <laughs> he swam away nicely. We did it. Smallie, largey, and a pike. Do you want a wake bait? 
Would you eat the wake bait? Nope. Fair enough. Oh, there we go. He doesn't want to go in the water. It's a smart bullfrog. <sighs> Let's not break my leg before I go to the truck here. Ouch. Whenever I get home and the bait looks like that, It was a good day of fishing. I might need a fresher bottle of that UV resin because this stuff's getting awfully chippy. Awfully chippy. Awfully chippy. You getting old, dude? You see my owie? I got an owie. You don't care. You don't care at all. You're just waiting for on to the next bait. Anyway, that's probably the most fun I've had with a one day so far this year. We were catching big fish and many of them out of the river, got up at the right time. Early fishermen get the fish because I'm not a bird and I don't want worms. If I had to change something about this bait, it would probably be just to make that flat. I don't need the curvature on the bottom. Still keep the hump back. Make that flat. I'd be really hesitant to make that lip straighter up and down. Maybe move the line tie down closer to the lip and make that flat. That would have probably given it the stability to crank even harder on the top. Move faster and make a wake. Stay at the top. Still remain a wake bait, that's what I'm trying to say. There's something about that curve on the bottom that makes it want to nosedive, I'm pretty sure. Regardless, it was exactly what I needed to catch a bunch of fish yesterday. Okay. Another successful video is over. On to the next bait. They have opened. This one's dying for some reason. It's wet. This one clammed up. Just went. We got a couple good showers though. Look at that. There's a bug in there. Is that a weevil? That's a weevil beetle. And the sunflower. It's eating my sunflower. Somebody left the garden gate open all night. Might have been me. Picked all my onions. We got a hot pepper churning yellow. That's it. Picked all my pepperoncinis except that one. Hey, gee. That's Gee Chip's making weird noises at her. Chip, leave Gee alone. Let's go. Come on. 